tonight we are going to be doing the World of Color dessert party. So we're very excited to have wonderful seats for the show, delicious desserts, and hopefully a wonderful evening. So we're going to take you along to show you how it works out in 2023, any updates or changes. So let's dive right into it. In this video, we'll also be showing you how to make sure you have access to the World of Color viewing area for free if you aren't planning to pay the additional cost for the World of Color dessert party. So make sure you stay to the end of the video so you don't miss that. But first things first, to experience the World of Color dessert party, you need reservations. You can make those up to 60 days before your visit. You can do that at the Disneyland website, and I recommend doing it as close to 60 days out as possible. If there is availability, you get to choose between the first or second showing. The cost is $89 per person, ages 3 and up, and that cost includes gratuity and taxes. There is not a charge for guests 2 and under. As you can see, we will be seated right basically in front of Mickey's Fun Wheel, and they have lots of tables on either side of this. You need to check in before the show, about an hour before, and where that happens is over by Grizzly River Run. There is a water wheel, and over there is where you check in for both the earlier and later show for the evening. Your reservation time for the party is about an hour before the actual performance begins. In the past when I've done this party before, they wouldn't start checking guests in for the party until closer to the reservation time. So everyone with reservations would wait in a long line and then get checked in about 30 minutes before the party began. On our most recent visit, one of the very positive changes was cast members were checking in guests earlier, assigning the table, giving them wristbands for the viewing area, then the guests were encouraged to go and enjoy the park, and then encouraged to come back just a few minutes before the dessert party would begin. And at that point, a cast member walked us over to the seating area at the Paradise Garden Park. So if you have reservations, I would recommend dropping by the check-in location by the water wheel about an hour before your reservation time to see if they've begun checking in guests. You will likely be given the option between a low table with folding chairs or a high top table with director's chairs. So think about which table you would prefer. They both have great views, but for some, it's a little bit easier to sit closer to the ground. Others, the director's chairs aren't a problem. All right, so here's what we have. We have a Mickey crispy treat. We have a shortbread cookie. We have a macaron. And then we have a chocolate mousse cake, assorted cheeses. Let's see what this one is called. We have the Mickey Funfetti Bundt Cake, crackers, and delicious grapes. So the dessert party is excellent so far. I think my favorite fun thing that I've had is the McFetty Bundt Cake. That's been my favorite so far, but I'm gonna ask my parents what they think so far. Mom? Oh, my favorite. I started with the Bundt Cake. That was so good. And then I loved also the triple chocolate cheesecake. That was amazing. I like the Bundt Cake as well. And then I'm a grape and cheese kind of guy. Yes, the grape and cheese is very good. And I'll ask my sister. I liked the Mickey Funfetti Bundt Cake as well. That was tasty. Okay. And... Okay, so I think I like the raspberry filled shortbread cookie and the hot chocolate is very good. Hey, buddy. And nephew, what do you like? <laughs> shortbread cookie. Lots of good stuff here. So everybody's enjoying it, and we're about 15 minutes till showtime. So we're. They give you a little box to pack up any of the desserts you don't eat, so that's nice. But yeah, we've enjoyed our drinks and desserts so far. In addition to these delicious desserts, those 21 years and older can receive an adult beverage. And everyone can receive unlimited soft drinks and bottled water, plus coffee, tea, and hot chocolate. And for children, they get this light-up sippy cup. Then it's time for the show. These video clips do not do the show or the viewing location justice. The views from this location are far enough back that you can really take in the whole show and how large the scope of it all is. You do miss some of the lowest fountains near the front due to the crowds, but that is true of most of the viewing locations unless you are at the very front near the water's edge.
have the power to make a difference. It just takes one. Now, because of the price of the dessert party, I think most people are only going to experience this for special occasions or for a special trip or what have you. So, of course, you don't need the dessert party to watch World of Color. You can still get a great view of the show from the standing room viewing areas without any additional cost, but you do need to join the virtual queue earlier in the day. To do that, you need to have a valid ticket and theme park reservation for that same day. Make sure you have linked the tickets of everyone in your group or party in the app. That way, you will be able to make sure everyone has access to the show. 15 minutes before the virtual queue opens, you will be able to confirm your party on the app by using the Confirm Your Party button. Since the queue opens up at noon, you can begin doing this at 11.45. To access the virtual queue, guests must have entered Disney California Adventure Park with a one park ticket or a park hopper ticket or Disneyland Park with a park hopper ticket prior to noon. I recommend setting an alarm on your phone to remind you 10 to 15 minutes before noon that you will need to get ready to jump on the app because the queue fills up in a minute or two and it's easy to miss that moment if you're having a lot of fun in the parks. On the Disneyland app, tap the virtual queue tab, select virtual queue, and select Disney California Adventure Park. Make sure you confirm your party and starting a few seconds before the clock turns to noon, begin to pull down on the page to refresh it or tap the refresh button. When the queue opens up, a join button will appear. If you are successful, you will end up on the congratulations page, telling you what time the show will be. You don't get to pick which show, it's first come first serve. And you also won't know which viewing area you are in until later that evening. Guests with the virtual queue selection will receive a notification through the Disneyland app to enter the viewing area via one of the two marked entrances, either blue or yellow, approximately 45 minutes before the show begins. All right, wrapping up our review for the World of Color Dessert Party. I have done this several times. It is always kind of the bougie Disneyland experience where it does cost a pretty penny, but we always find it is worth it because you get wonderful treats and there's plenty. We each took a little box full home of things we didn't finish. So you get those treats, you get some fun drinks, but the biggest thing you get is you are not having to worry and push and shove and wait, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes standing there for your spot and then for someone to come in, push in front of you, you know, two minutes before the show starts. So not having all the stress of that is a big benefit. Do we do this every time? No, because it is costly, but is it something for maybe saving up for a special party or celebration or a special event? If you, can, if you can spring for it, it's definitely worth it because getting to sit there during the show, getting to eat those desserts and just enjoy it without having to worry about getting a spot or anything like that, it's, it's wonderful. So I'm very glad we got to do this again. I'm, it was an awesome experience. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like and consider subscribing to the channel because my hope is always to make your next Disney adventure a little bit more magical with tips and tricks, food reviews, and news. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see y'all again real soon. Bye.